Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. A happy Monday to you, everybody. Hope you're doing well, despite the cold and gloomy and cloudy day. Today, of course, we did see some rain. We even had some reports of some sleep pellets mixing in from time to time across much of our area. And it was cold enough for any type of precipitation, at least a couple of thousand feet up at least, to start as a little bit of wintry precipitation. And of course, thankfully, most of the area remained pretty okay. Again, our friends out toward Patrick County and Metazadan saw a little more of that uh, mixed precipitation. I'm Weatherman Dustin Staples here with you on this Monday. Hope you are doing your best to stay cool or warm out there. It has been chilly all day today. Again, our cloud cover will continue to increase or decrease tonight as our temperatures are gonna go. It's pretty much stay where they are right now. So not really much budging in the temperatures department Again, mix of clear skies. We may see uh, the breaks of the clouds coming up this evening. Of course, over the weekend, we had the pink full moon. We were able to get a little glimpse of that late Saturday night. So if you're able to look out the sky, you saw the, uh, the name of the moon. It's, not, it's the full pink moon because typically, you know, we're right around spring and Easter for correlated with it. So uh, the moon's not actually colored pink, but again, it's just the name of the given month of the moon. Each month has a different name of the moon. Uh, just to kind of keep that in mind as well. Again, overnight lows will go from the 40s. Tomorrow morning, though, we will wake up in the mid 30s out there as again we'll begin to see the cloud cover uh, break apart it's going to get windy and no rain or snow expected this appears to be one of the coolest days of the week making our way out there high of 57 so just keep in mind the temperature may say uh 57 but the actual feels like temperature may feel like the mid upper low 40s to mid 50s pretty much for our coverage area so but again uh, i've been telling for our folks in the city of martinsville most likely will be in the mid 50s or low 50s for wind chills feels like and i put the caution symbol out there because we have a good chance of some hard freeze and a frost expected likely late tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning. So yes, it's going to be breezy, but also we're going to begin to see uh, the chance of that increased frost threat and freeze concern for pretty much everybody tomorrow night. So once again, area-wide temperatures, mid-50s elsewhere, south side, as you make your way up towards, uh, again, Rocky Mount outside of uh, Franklin County there in front of Pat Patrick County, excuse me. Uh, again, winds will be gusting up the west-northwest, 15 to 25. We may have as high as gust up to 30, 40. Again, that is for higher terrains uh, outside of Manazadan and Patrick County, Kreitz uh, going up towards Czech, and of course, Dublin, that's way up towards uh, the New River Valley, where they saw more, a uh, little bit of more mixed precipitation uh, on this Monday. But again, uh, windy conditions out there, mix of sun and clouds. So it, again, the, your car thermometer may say 55, 54. The actual air temperature itself may be in the upper uh, 40s to low 50s tomorrow. So very breezy and blustery indeed as you're making your way out and about. So cold uh, theme for tomorrow. So a good day to have the uh, some stew on if you're coming home from dinner uh, because yikes, yeah, like I said, our lows uh, coming in tomorrow night right around the freezing mark, if not below this in some outlining areas, particularly outside of Meta Zidane, uh, outside of the New River Valley District, they could potentially see lows in the upper 20s in low 30s, so everybody is a greater chance of a hard freeze expected. I know uh, some of you all have probably been getting ready for planting and getting ready to get your gardens going. I told you to hold off on that. It's better to make a to-do list right around this time frame because things like this will happen. So after a chilly start on our Tuesday night and Wednesday, you begin to see increasing sunshine later in the afternoon, highs getting back to near normal. So we're going to progressively get warmer as you can kind of see every day this week we'll go from the 30s on uh, Wednesday morning to the mid 40s early Thursday morning got around 71 to mix of sun and clouds there we'll most likely see increasing sunshine late in the day and again our clear skies at night help a lot of that heat radiate back into space and of course it gives us that uh, radiational cooling we see at nighttime allowing our temperatures not to cool off as much but again we may see a mix of sun and clouds 
low 80s or possibly the second 80 or first 80 degree day of the year. And again, same story as you make your way up towards this weekend, which is the final week of, uh, of April, if you or the final weekend, I guess one of the final weekends of April. I, ne I need to put that in consideration. Of course, Saturday, it is Magna Vista's prom, of course, is taking place outside of Eden, North Carolina. Right now, the forecast is looking a okay for any prom photos this week, or maybe you're doing graduation photos. Some of our colleges are getting geared up uh, to head home pretty soon. And some of our uh, bigger colleges, you know, Radford, Virginia Tech, JMU, the big colleges in the Commonwealth of Virginia are getting ready to do that. So maybe you make a trip up to your students' um, residence and their college. You should be okay. Travel-wise, everywhere else, we're low to mid-70s. And again, uh, just tomorrow, keep recap one more time. Windy conditions, blustery from time to time, 20 to 30 miles per hour. Again, higher gusts are going to be well out of our coverage area, outlining areas saying that uh, 35, 40, the law, the higher the top. So mostly a concern for our friends in Franklin, or uh, excuse me, northwestern Patrick County will most likely see uh, the higher wind uh, concerns. But again, a hard freeze and frost is definitely likely. You make your way out early Wednesday morning as we begin uh, to see those warmer weather, those, the cooler temperatures result in some warmer afternoon. So look at this, 52, 50, 60, 56 there, pretty mild on our Saturday night. So uh, we're getting to get to the pattern where we have just gone from one extreme to another extremity. You know, this is the transition month uh, from April to May. We have been in this pattern for quite a while. Something else I want to quickly remind you of the burn ban that continues until the end of this month. Uh, you remember no burning until after 4 p.m. Uh, and then, of course, after the 30th of April, that burn ban then expires. But again, it's still a good idea to remember to kind of keep your burning things. And a lot of you want to do your bonfires at night and you're going to be OK with that. Just keep in mind, you know, don't do any brush fires or any dry Air, arid weather you know we've been kind of dry for for a while now now we had this rain today and of course the extended outlook does show we're not going to see much rain after this uh for the next the next uh, seven days anyway so right now it does appear we are beginning another dry weather setup here that'll begin to concern for and uh you know thankfully the winds won't be as hectic after tomorrow we'll begin to see that mix of sun and clouds uh take over pretty much for the entire week but warm and early summer like is the way i like to put it again pretty much thursday and beyond some computer miles we're hinting next with this upcoming weekend some mid to upper 80s uh, and some out in some parts of a region, I don't foresee us. We, you know, if we get near 90, I'm not forecasting 90 degrees for next weekend, but some of the computer models were just jumping the head of the showing, hey, we got a lot of warm air in place. Why not shoot 90 degrees on the weather map? And I don't foresee that happening, but it's going to get warm. Uh, no matter to say the least. So a lot of baseball games underway, soccer games, tennis matches, golf tournaments, everything is underway uh, for the spring season. So if you had been heading out to support your uh, local high school sports uh, and middle school games, you have been noticing it's been pretty acceptable to go out and uh, not uh, freeze to death, but more so rather that it's been feel comfortable. And of course, a lot of uh, good things are happening across much of our high school sports. And so again, high school sports athletes, listen up, chilly day tomorrow for your Tuesday. And then again, the rest of the week, you should be pretty nice to get out and take advantage of your high school event. So that's all the time I have here for you. We want you to thank, uh, stick around. We thank you for spending part of your day here with us. As busy as your lives are, we're always here to keep you informed on the latest news, weather, sports, and breaking news alerts you can catch on our Facebook page. That is at BTW21. And again, our website at BTW21.com. We're doing a great, uh, excellent uh, job as we are continued to update uh, things here on our happenings. Just in case if you do miss them live on air, you can go back on our website and our Facebook page to check us out. And again, a big thanks to all of our sponsors who make all of this newscast possible. Again, we thank you so much for watching. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have more BTW 21 news next after this. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.